Hi, my name is Miranda Stenglin and I'm a mathematician and this is how to do Greek math subtraction. Greek math subtraction comes from ancient Greek times. Um, basically the Greeks were very obsessed with figuring out how to use tangible items around them to accurately measure lengths and distances. Over here to the right um, I have some string and that's what they used originally. I have a string that is 10 inches in length and also a string that is 5 inches in length. And what the Greeks would do is they would take the two strings and overlap them and take the part that they have in common, which is all this area up here, and essentially disregard it. And any remaining length is the answer to the subtraction problem. So basically what they did was just cut all this part off and whatever was left, that's the answer to their subtraction problem. So it becomes 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. Another way that we can do this is just by simply looking at number lines. If I have a line here and a line here, and let's just say that this line is 2 units long and this line is 4 units long. Basically, if I want to do Greek math subtraction on this, I take the area that they have in common, which is right here, and I cross it off. On whatever remaining units I have, that's the answer to my subtraction problem. So it becomes 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Now if I bring this into the real world that we live in today, how do we apply it? Um, I think a great example is just consider two cars driving on the same road. So if we have car number 1 driving on the 101, and he's going about 55 miles per hour. And let's just say that he's going to travel for an hour. So after an hour, he's reached here and he's gone 55 miles. And he's traveling on the 101. And let's say car number 2 is also traveling on the 101. And this car is going a little bit slow. Let's just say he's only going 35 miles per hour. And again, let's assume that he's going to travel for an hour. He's going to be right about here at 35. And he's also traveling on the 101. So when I look at the distance that these two cars have traveled after an hour, I take out what they have in common and see what is the remaining distance. And that will be the answer to my subtraction problem. So I take the distance they have in common, which is here, all the way up to 35. And this remaining length here will be my answer. So I get the answer to my problem, 55 minus 35 is equal to 20. So this has been a little bit about how to do math Greek subtraction.